Hello dear friends, I am Engineer Shaparo and you are watching your own channel Civil Engineering World The Civil Ides. And huge demand of most of the subscribers and friends. Today I am going to start solving and explaining another test of Khyber Pukhtankhwa Public Service Commission for the first of Civil Engineer. This test is equally important for the test of SDO, Civil Assistant Director, Civil Sub Engineer, Civil in all type of tests related to Civil Engineering. I am hoping that this test will be also helpful for the viewers like the previous one. This test include total of 100 MCQs to avoid lengthy videos. I have divided the test in four parts and this is the first video of that series. Other videos of the series will be also uploaded soon. So keep in touch. Let's start today's topic. This is the first video of the series. Previous test solved and explained for the four stops civil engineer KPPSC. You can see that here test number two is written because it is the second test. I have already solved a previous test for the four stop sub engineer civil KPPSC. This is the first part of the second test. In this first part, I have solved first 21 MCQs of the test. The remaining MCQs of the test is solved in the upcoming videos. The first MCQs of the test was the system international unit of energy is the choices are Eric B calorie C joule and D electron volt. We know that the unit of energy and system international is joule so the right choice for this question is C joule. MCQ number 2 is the angle between two forces when the resultant is maximum and minimum respectively are the choices are A 0 and 180 degree, B 180 and 0 degree, C 90 and 180 degree and D 90 and 0 degree. It is clear that the resultant of the two forces will be maximum when it lies in the same direction. It means that the angle must be 0 degrees and minimum when the forces lies in opposite direction. So here Choice A is the correct choice for this question. That is 0 degree and 180 degree. MCQ number 3 is the set of forces whose resultant is 0 are known as A equilibrium forces, B collinear forces, C coplanar forces, and D concurrent forces. Equilibrium forces mean that the forces which are opposite in direction and same in magnitude. So the resultant of equilibrium forces are always 0. The right choice for this question is A. Equilibrium forces. MCQ number 4 is concurrent forces are those forces whose line of action the choices are lies on same line, B. Meet at one point, meet on same plane, and D. None of the above. It is the definition of concurrent forces that concurrent forces are that forces which meet at common point or at one point. So, the choice B is the right choice for this question. Meet at one point. MCQ number 5 is the point through which the whole body weight acts irrespective of the position of the body is called. The choices are A. Centroid B. Center of gravity C. Both A and B and D. None of these. Center of gravity is the point on which whole weight of the body acts. So the right choice for this question is B. Center of gravity. MCQ number 6 is the number of oscillation per second is known as the choices are A time period, B phase difference, C frequency and D amplitude. So it is clear that it is C frequency. MCQ number 7 is the maximum displacement of a body from its mean position is known as A amplitude, B oscillation, C beat and D frequency. It is a simple one it's, and its answer is A amplitude. MCQs number 9 is the distance from the axis of preference where the whole mass of area of a body is assumed to be concentrated is known as the choices are A. Lever arm B. Moment of inertia C. Center of gravity and D. Radius of gyration The right choice for this question is Radius of gyration D. Question number 10 is in system international the unit of power is a joule b watt c newton and d erg the right choice for this question is b watt mcq number 11 is 
when a piece of ice floating in a beaker of water completely melts the level of water in beaker the choices are a rises b falls c remains same and d none of these we know that when a solid body is floating in water it, the increase in volume occurs is equal to the amount of water displaced by the body so keeping this point in mind it is clear that the choice c is the correct one and it is remains same MCQ number 12 is manometer is used to measure velocity of liquid B pressure difference between two points C energy and five centimeters and D pressure in venturi meter the right choice for this question is B pressure difference between two points MCQ number 13 is Bernoulli theorems deal with the principle of conservation of choices are A energy B momentum C mass and D force Bernoulli theorem is based on law of conservation of energy, so the right choice for this question is A. Energy. MCQ's number 14 is flow in a pipe is laminar if Reynolds number is the choices are A. Less than 2000, B. Between 2000 and 4000, C. Between 4000 and 6000, and D. Equal to 1000. We know that the flow is laminar when the Reynolds number is less than 2000 it is in transition state when the Reynolds number is between 2000 to 4000 and it is turbulent flow when the Reynolds number is higher than 4000 so the right choice for this question is a less than 2000 MCQ number 15 is in in an open channel flow the discharge corresponding to critical depth is a minimum b maximum c zero and d constant the right choice for this question is b maximum mcq number 16 is in a tank or channel notch is provided to measure the choices are a velocity b pressure c discharge and d static energy we know that notches are used to measure discharge so the right choice for this question is c discharge MCQ number 17 is hydraulic turbine are the machine which convert water energy to the choices are mechanical energy b electrical energy c solar energy and automotive energy hydraulic turbines convert water energy into mechanical energy and then this mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy so the right choice for this question is a mechanical energy MCQ number 18 is viscosity of an oil changes with a temperature b speed c weight and d none of these we know that viscosity of a body depends upon the temperature so the right choice for this question is a temperature mcq number 19 is the poisson ratio cannot have the value of a 0.5 b 0.2 c 0.1 and d 5 we know that the poisson ratio is in the range of minus 0.5 to plus 1 so you can see that 5 is out of range, so the right choice for this question is D5. MCQ number 20 is the ability of a material to deform without breaking is called A. Resilience B. Creep C. Plasticity and D. Elasticity. So the right choice for this question is C. Plasticity. The last question of this video is the strength of cast iron casting is compared to case steel casting is a more b less c equal and d none of these so the right choice for this question is a more the remaining question of this test is solved in the upcoming videos that's all for today thank you very much for watching the video full for more updated videos about civil engineering and civil engineering related tests please subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button along with the bell icon to receive the notification of upcoming videos and do not forget to like the video thank you very much